Hi, welcome to Sing Ning Hao to study Chinese. This is HSK Level 1 class, and I am your teacher, Ronnie. Today, we are going to learn Lesson 2. Lesson 2, 第二课. 谢谢你. 谢谢你, which means thank you. So, in the last lesson, we've already learned some of our initials and finals. And today, we are going to learn more of them. More of them. So now let's move on to our new knowledge pack. So we can see here there is there are initial parts and final parts, right? In in the initial parts, we can see seven new initials we haven't seen before. So first, read after me, okay? First one is zhi, zhi, zhi. Look at the shape of my lips. If you don't know where to put your tongue, imagine if this is your upper gum, upper gum, then if this is your tongue. So try to put the tip of your tongue, try to touch, touch the upper gum with the tip of your tongue, and then quickly remove it, quickly remove it to leave a slight gap, to leave a slight gap for the air to go through, okay? Leave quickly. So, zhi, zhi, and the air must be soft. Zhi, this is zhi. Next one, chi, chi. Read after me, please. Chi, this one, the shape of our lip and the position of your tongue is the same as zhi. The only difference is the air, is the air. For zhi, we use soft air. But for chi, we use stronger air. To test it, try to put your hand in front of your mouth or a tissue or a paper, okay? For zhi, zhi, you can only feel really slight and soft air bursting to your hand. But for chi, 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 much stronger air to your palm, okay? This is zhi and chi. Next one is shi. Shi. The shape of the lip is the same as zhi and chi, but the difference is the tongue position. So for zhi and chi, we will touch the upper gum with the tip of our tongue and then remove it, right? But for shi, we won't touch. We will always leave a gap for it, okay? Shi. Shi. Read up to me, please. Shi. Shi. Very good. Now let's move on to the next one is zhi, zhi, zhi. For zhi, roll a little bit, roll up your tongue a little bit, and then try to vibrate your vocal cord here. Vibrate it and try to pronounce this word zhi, zhi, zhi. Read up to me, please. Zhi. Very good. Now let's read zhi from zhi to zhi. Okay. Now three, two, one. Zhi. Zhi. Next. Zhi. Zhi. Next. Shi. Shi. Next. Zhi. Zhi. Very good. Now let's move on to the next line. Next line. It looks similar to the upper line, right? So let's see for th, this one. This one. We this time we won't put we won't touch the upper gum. This time we will touch the upper teeth, the back of our upper teeth. Okay? Try to use your tip of your tongue, touch the upper teeth. And then leave a gap. Immediately. Let's try. Z, 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 z. Next one. C, c. The tongue position is the same as z, but this time the difference is the air. Try to put your hand in front of your mouth and c, c, c. The air is much stronger. Very good. 
Now let's move on to this one. Is s s s this one? Try to use the tip of your tongue to approach your upper teeth. Approach. Don't touch it. Just just approach it. Okay. S s s. So this is it. Now let's try to read from z to s. Okay. Now three, two, one. Z, 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 z. Excellent, excellent, good job. Now let's try to read from start each four twice, okay? Each four twice. Three, two, one. Z, z. Ch, ch, sh, sh, ri, ri, zi, zi, ci, ci, si, si. Excellent, excellent. Now, these are the new initials for today. Now, let's move on to finals. Finals. You can see there are many finals here. So, first one is O. Read after me, please. O. O. Sounds like English letter O. 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 Next one is Yo. Yo. Try to pronounce E first and then try to put O after it and try to read them quicker and quicker. You can get a yo. So first, look at me. E O E O E O Yo 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 Yo. Right? You get a yo. Yo. Read after me, please. Yo. Yo. Very good. Now let's move on. This one is an. An, an. So first, try to pronounce a, ah, and then try to pronounce n, n. For this one, you should rise up your tongue, rise up the formal part of your tongue, especially the tip of your tongue, and try to put the upper gun. Okay, try. An, an, an. So this is an. We should use your nose, okay? Next one is yen, yen, yen. First, pronounce e, and then try to pronounce n, and then you can get a yen. Try yen, yen. Next one is one, one, one. First, pronounce u. And then try to pronounce and then you can get one 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 wait up to me please one next one is yuan yuan first pronounce yu and then yan and then you can get yuan 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 very good, very good. Now let's move on to the next line is N. First pronounce U uh, and then pronounce N with their nose and their tongue, okay? N, N, N. Next one is In, In, In. Try to pronounce E first and then N, okay? In. In, in sounds like English. In next one is one, one first pronounce u and then pronounce an one, 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 one. Read after me, please. One, one, one. Next one is yun, yun pronounce. U first, and then pronounce N with your nose and your tongue. Yun, yun, 
Yun. Next is um um this one might be a little bit confusing. So first try to pronounce ah uh, and then try to pronounce mm, with your nose, but this time don't rise up the former part of your tongue. Try to rise up the back part of your tongue, okay? Try to rise up the root. Okay, try. Um 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 okay this one and the mouth will be bigger than an so try to listen the difference between an and um an um okay can you see the differences so this is um next one is yang 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 First, try to pronounce E, okay? Yang, Yang, Yang. Next one is Wu Ang Wang, 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 Wang. Next is Ang, um, pronounce E uh first, and then Ng. Mm. Next, Ang. Um, 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 next one is in, pronounce E first and then use your nose and tongue. In, 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 next is wong, wu and ng, wu ng, wong, 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 wong. Read up to me, please. Wong, wong. Wong, Wong, very good. Now last two is Um, 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 like U. Okay, first pronounce U and then try to pronounce Um. So this is Um, Um, Um. Last one is Yung. First pronounce E and then try to pronounce Ung Yung 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 Read up to me please Yung 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 Very good Now let's try to read from the start each for twice and quicker quicker than we are learning it okay So three two one O O Yo, yo, an, an, yen, yen, wan, wan, yuan, yuan, an, an, in, in. Wan, Wan, Yun, Yun, Ang, Ang, Yang, Yang, Wang, Wang, Ang, Ang, Ying, Ying, Wang. Wong, Ung, Ung, Yung, Yung. Excellent, you've done a great job. So now let's move on to the next part, practice them. Let's try to practice them with some monosyllabic words. The first one, first one is three in Chinese, which is San. So the initial is We've just blended, and the final is an. So, and the tone is the first tone. So, si an san. Read up to me, please. San, san. Next one is shan, the mountain, the mountain. The initial is shi. The final is an. The tone is first tone. So, shi an shan. 
Shan Shan Next one is Zhong Zhong which means clock So the initial is Zhi The final is Wong And the tone is first tone So put them together Zhi Wong Zhong Zhong Next one is Yang which means sheep or goat Okay in Chinese so this is yang, the initial e, and the final is ang, the tone is second tone. Put them together, yang, yang, yang. Next one is a zero in Chinese. Ling, le, ying, ling, initial le, final ying, the tone is second tone. Ling, le, ying, ling. Ling. Next one is Cai, which means dish, dish in Chinese. And the initial si, we just learned it. And the final is I, we learned it last lesson. I. And the tone is the, first, the fourth tone. So put them together, we can get si, I, Cai, Cai, Cai. Okay, next one is our hand. Show, shi o show. Read up to me, please. Show. The initial is shi. The final is o, and the tone is the tone. Okay. Try to separate the initial and the final and the tone by yourself. Okay, by yourself. So this one is this one is xiong, which means there, which means there, and the initial is. C and the final is Yong. The tone is second tone. Put them together is C Yong Xiong. C Yong Xiong. Okay. Next one is cloud. Cloud in Chinese, which is Yun. Yun. We can see this thing. This thing here. The pin is written like this. Is this U or Yu? Is this U or is it this Yu? So this is Yu actually, right? Yu actually. But because, because what? Because what? We should get rid of this. Because the initial is E, right? Then we should get rid of the two dots and put the term mark on it. Okay, this is the rule we learned last lesson. Please try to review them if you've forgotten. Okay, next one is Xing. Xing, read up for me, please. Xing, it is the initial is Xi and the final is Ying and the tone is the first tone. So, Xing, Xing, read up for me. Xing, next one is Yuan, Yuan, the major word for Chinese currency, Chinese currency, RMB, Yuan. So we can see here is Yuan. Okay, the final is Yuan, and the tone is second tone. Put them together, Yuan, Yuan, Yuan. Next one means people. It is Ren, Ren. The initial is zhi and the final is an. The tone is second tone. Put them together. Zhi an, ren, ren, ren. Okay. Next one is chuan, which means a boat or a ship. Chuan, chuan. The initial chi, the final one, and the tone is second tone. Put them together. Chi wan, chuan. Chuan, Chuan. Next is Chuang, which means bad, bad Chuang. So we can see if we cannot pronounce n and n right, then we will be confused, right? So for Chuan is the boat, Chuang is the bad, the bad Chuang. So it is initial is chi and the final is wang and the tone is second tone. So chuang, 
床 Next one is 吃吃吃 It means eat eat. The initial is 吃 and the final is 一 and put them together is 吃吃 not 吃 okay it's 吃吃 in this pinyin the final e actually is pronounced as 呃 okay so 吃吃 read up to me please 吃吃 next one the last one is 热 which means hot hot 热 read up to me please 热 initial 日 final 呃 and the tone is fourth tone so 日呃热热 Now let's try to read from the start. Read from the start each four twice. Three, two, one. San, san, shan, shan, zhong, zhong, yang, yang, ling, ling, cai, cai. 手，手，熊，熊，云，云，星，星，圆，圆，人，人，船，船，床，床，吃，吃。热，热 ，Good job, good job. So this is the monosyllabic words. Now let's try some disyllabic words. Disyllabic words. First one is 冰箱 which means refrigerator, refrigerator. 冰箱 So these two characters, these two syllables are separated from here, right? 冰 is the final for the former pin and C is for is the initial for the letter syllable, okay? From in and C. So first one is bo in bing. The initial is bo. The final is in, and the tone is the first tone. Bo in bing. And the next one is xi yang xiang. Xi yang xiang. The initial xi. The final yang. The tone is first tone. So xiang. 冰箱，冰 actually means ice in Chinese, and 箱 actually means box. So in Chinese, refrigerator means ice box. Ice box. Now read after me, please. 冰箱，冰箱，冰箱 Next one. Egg is 鸡蛋，鸡蛋 Okay. So the first one is. G E G, the initial G, the final E, the tone is first tone G and 蛋，的案蛋。The initial is 的 ，the final is 案 ，and the tone is for tone. So 的案蛋，的案蛋。So 鸡蛋 ，read after me, please. 鸡蛋，鸡蛋。Next one, the driver. Driver is 司机。司机，司机，司机，机，机，司机，司机。Next one is the football. Football is 足球，足球，子午足，七有球，足球。Read up for me, please. 足球。足球 ，Okay. Next one is the airport. 机场，机场。So the first one is 机一，机。Next one, 吃昂，场，机场，机场。Okay. Next one is climb the mountain, climb the mountain. So 爬山。Climb, 爬 mountain, 山 we just approached it. 
So Pasha means climb the mountain. Po a pa shan shan pa shan pa shan pa shan. Next one is our watch. Watch show biao show biao. So show means our hand and biao actually means the watch, the clock. So show biao means the watch on our wrist. Okay. Show biao shi o show bo yao biao show biao show biao. And anybody still remember the rule we've learned in last lesson? The tone sandy rules for two third tone words. When there are two third tones are in a word, in one word, and what should we do? We should change the first third tone into second tone, right? Into second tone. So actually for show biao, we should read them as Show biao, right? Show biao. Don't forget about the knowledge we've learned last lesson, okay? We learned it in last lesson. Last one is the panda. Panda in Chinese is xiong mao, xiong mao, xi yong, xiong, mo ao mao. The initial is xi, the final is yong. The tone is second tone, put them together, xi yong, xiong. The initial mo, the final ao, the tone, the first tone, mo ao mao, xiong mao, xiong mao. So these are the new, new pinyin, new initials and finals for today. Now let's move on to the tone part, neutral tone. In last lesson, we've already learned something about the neutral tone, which is we should read down quick and soft, quick and soft. So actually, apart from the four tones, four tones we've learned in last lesson, there are another tone in Chinese, which is the neutral tone, neutral tone. And it is always read soft and quick, soft and quick. And let's see these four examples. First one is Mom, mother in Chinese, which is mama, mama. First, listen to me reading them, okay? Mama, mama. Next one is grandpa, which is yeah, 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 yeah. Next one is grandmother, nai, 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 nai. The last one is father, Baba, Baba, Baba. Did anybody see some rules in these four words? Okay, actually, when we are reading pronunciation in the neutral tone, there, are, there is a rule for this. For the first tone, for the neutral tone after the first tone, second tone, and the fourth tone, we can see the pitch of the neutral tone is lower than the former one, okay? For example, like mama, the neutral tone ma is, the pitch is lower than the ma, right? Listen carefully, mama, mama, right? Lower, mama. And next, yeah, 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 yeah. The neutral tone one is lower, right? Yeah, yeah. And the first tone, let's see. Baba. Baba. It is still lower. But for the third tone, for the neutral tone after the third tone, it is higher. Listen. Nai, nai. Nai, nai. Nai, nai. Nai, nai. The neutral tone is higher. So this is the rule for it. When the neutral tone is after the third tone, then you should rise up the pitch of it. Don't read it as nai nai. It is nai nai, okay? Nai nai, rise up, rise up. This is the neutral tone, neutral tone. We should first read them quick and sub, and then rise up when it is after the third tone. Rise the pitch, don't rise the tone, okay? 
it is the neutral tone itself, but we should rise up the pitch, rise up the pitch. Okay, let's move on. Let's try to read them, read them, okay? Try to read them. So first one is because this neutral tone is after our first tone. So we should read it. The pitch should be lower, the lower. Okay, next one. After the second tone, so it should be lower too. So, fuang fang fang zi fang zi fang zi. Next one, the third tone we should rise up, right? Rise up. So, yi zi yi zi yi zi yi zi. Okay. So. Don't pay too much attention to the meaning of these words. We are just using them to practice our pronunciation, okay? Pronunciation, we, didn't, we don't need to know the meaning of them right now. And one day you are going to know all of them, okay? Now, just let's, let's pay attention to their pronunciation first. Next, last one is guizi. This one it should be lower. The pitch should be lower too. Okay, this one. How to read it? Next one is Next one. After the third tone, wo and mo and man, woman, woman, woman. Okay, last one is the yi di, di di, di di, di di. Okay, next, yi fu fu, yi fu, yi fu, yi fu. Next one is er. Next, Xihuan. we should rise up the pitch of the neutral tone, right? Xihuan. 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 Next one, Ri An Ran Shi Yi Shi. Ran Shi. Ran Shi. Ran Shi. Next, Xi Yan. Xian Shi Ong Shang Xian Shang Xian Shang Xian Shang Next one Huo Ung Pang Yi O Yo Pang Yo Pang Yo Pang Yo Next one is Wu An Wan Shi Ong Shang because it is after the third tone, so we should read, read it higher. Wan shang, wan shang, wan shang, wan shang, wan shang. Okay, last one is po yao piao, le yang liang, po yao piao, le yang liang, piao liang, piao liang, piao liang, piao liang. Very good, very good. These are the read, how to read is the neutral tone, this neutral tone. Okay, now let's move on to our next part, next part. The rules of pinyin, rules of pinyin. First, we are going to learn the tone marking rules, tone marking rules. So actually, every time we've seen a pinyin, we can see there is a tone mark on it. But where should we put the tone mark on it? So that's why we are going to learn the rules, the rules. And the tone marks should be on the finals, not the initials, okay? It should be on the finals. And if there are so many pinyin, so many letters in the finals, then where should we put? Which one should should be with the new should be with the tone mark? So there is the rule. First one, we should find the vowels. The vowels, okay? The vowels are a, u, e, i, u, u. A, u, e, i, u, u. 
Okay, these six vowels. Find them and try to mark them. So sometimes, sometimes we know there are some, um, some finals like ow and a and way, something like this. There are two vowels appeared together. Then where should we put? Where should we put a mark? So this another another rule. So first, if there is a, always put a on the top priority. Okay, top priority. If there is a, just mark a. Okay, and if there is no a, try to find o and u. O and u. Try to find these two. O and u because they won't appear together in a in the same in the same final okay or and uh, try to find them and mark them and if there are none of them try to mark the others and for oi and you for these two if u and e appeared together appeared together in the final for example like oi and you right we should mark the letter one. For way, we mark E. For you, we mark U. Okay? If U and E appeared together, try to mark the letter one, not the former one, letter one, okay? And another rule is, when we are marking E, we will remove the dot, remove the dot, and then, we will mark on the rest part of it, like this. E, 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 E. We will mark it like this. So these are the rules for tone marking in Chinese, tone marking. First, we won't mark initials. We will mark finals. Second, we will mark the vowels. A, W, E, U, E, U, U. And the sequence of marking it is first, if there is a a, ah, it is the top priority, we will mark a. Ah. If there is no a, ah, try to mark wo and u. Uh. If u and e appeared together, then try to mark the letter one. And if we are marking e, we will get remove the dot and mark on it. Okay, this is the rule. Now let's try to practice, practice. Let's see where we marked. So first one, Xi yue xue, xi yao xiao, xue xiao, it means school, xue xiao. For this, let's see xue first. In here, we didn't see a, so now let's find a and u and e. Because there is a e, so we marked e, right? Xue. Next one is xiao xiao. Let's see, is there a? Yes, there is a here, so we marked a, we marked on a. Next one, bu an bang. Let me make the picture bigger, okay? Let me make it bigger. So here it is. Bang bu ang, bang bu ang, bang. And next one, mang. In these two, we can see there are o or a in it. So bang, mang, there are o a in it. That's why we marked a, marked on a. Next, le an, lan, lan. We can see there is a. So we marked a uh, and next one xi yo qiu qiu for qiu we can see there is a final yu 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 so where should we mark we should mark the letter one letter one that's why we put a mark on wu okay wu next next is ni er Nu er, nu yu, nu, nu. In this one, 
for nan yi nu, there is only one final, so we just need to mark the mark on the final, okay? Just mark on the final. And for er, er, this one, we should mark on the e because there is no a, uh, then we should find wo and e, uh, right? So er here, er. Next is yo yong. E O Yo in Yo we can see there is wo, wo, right? We cannot see ah, so we find wo and e because there is wo we marked on wo. Next one, yong is the same. We can see the wo, so we marked on wo. Next one is shou, shi o shou because there is wo, so we marked wo. Next one, huo yao biao. Because there is a, we just need to mark a. Next one, zhi wong zhong, mark the wo, right? Yi yu yu yu, we need to mark on the only final, just mark on it and get removed the two dots of yu. Next one, ge wong gong, just mark on the wo and the only, the individual. Final. Next one. Shi jian shi yi shi. There is only one letter in the final. Just mark it. And jian jian. We see a, so we mark a, right? Next one is shi an shen shi an shen. Because there is e, we just need to mark e. And then te yi ti te yi ti. There is only one. I know, just mark it. Ke ao kao, we see a, just mark a. Shi, shi, no, there is no need to say because shi is the initial, yi is the only final, so just mark yi. Next one, ge wo, guo, ge wo, guo, guo. This is wu and wo, where should we mark it? We should mark wo, right? And next one, jia, because there is a, we just put a mark on a. Next is bao zhi, bao zhi, bo ao, bao. We can see a, just mark a. Zhi yi zhi, only one final, just mark the only one. Ge ao, hao, hao, there is a, so mark a. Chi yi chi, only one final, mark yi. Xie, xie, xie. Because there is e, mark e. Next one is neutral tone. Don't mark it. Okay, don't mark anything for the neutral tone. Next, ke, e, ke, mark e and qi, neutral tone again. Ke, qi, neutral tone. Don't do anything. So this is the first, uh, first rule for pin which is tone marking tone marking let's see the second rule second rule is abbreviation abbreviation for these three finals yo way and when for these three when there are initials before them initials before them we will write them as yo way and one we will get rid of these three vowels in the rhythm and write them as this your way and one okay this is the abbreviation of it just remember for example like actually it is in the pronunciation it should be written as this but we will write them like this new and for gui gui actually is Gui, gui. It is a pronunciation. It can indicate the pronunciation of it, but we will get rid of this when we are writing. Writing. And last one, luan, luan. Actually, it is luan, but we get rid of this and, and we are writing them like this. Okay. Now, um, let's try to practice. Try to see. Which which final it is originally were okay? So first one is xiu xi. For xiu, actually it is it is 
you write what was omitted, what was removed. Next one for Shui Shui Jiao Jiao Shui Jiao. Actually, Wei Wei was what originally? Wei was originally this Wei, right? This one. And next, Lu Wen Luan Chuan Chuan Luan Chuan. For Luan, actually, it should be Wen. And next one, Ne Yong Niu. No, I, nai. Which one was abbreviated? Abbreviated, new, right? No, you, it, it, actually, it should be like this, but when we are writing, we write it like this. New, new. So this is for the abbreviation, abbreviation. Next slide, let's try to see, try to find it out. This, P, G, O, G, O. This one was omitted uh, originally. It is, should be like this, right? But what was omitted? Next one. Ang gui, go away, gui. Actually, it is this. Go away, gui. Next one. Liu yan. Le yo liu. It actually should be this. Next one. Ke ai kai, he wei, hui kai, hui. He wei, he wei, hui. It is actually should be like this, but he is omitted, removed. So this is the abbreviation for the for the these three finals. Okay, these three finals. Now let's move on to our to next part to our text. Our text. So first, let's see the new words. First one is xie xie. Read after me, please. Xie xie. Xie xie. The initial C, the final Y. Okay, xie xie. And the second xie is the neutral tone. First one is fourth tone and second neutral tone. Okay, xie xie. Xie xie. It means to thank, to thank. Next one is bu wu bu. A first tone word, it means no, not, no, not. Okay, and now let's see the text. It said, xie xie. He said, bu xie. Bu xie. In here, we can see this bu is the same as this one, but the pronunciation is different. The tone is different. Bu xie xie means thanks, thanks, and bu xie means no thanks, then it's okay. Don't mention it, okay? Don't mention it. Okay, now try to read it with me. Read it with me. Three, two, one. 谢谢,不谢. Very good, very good. Now let's move on to next part. Next one. The new word is 不客气. Another tone Sandy, right? Bu Qi Qi is the neutral tone. Bu Qi. We should read them soft and quick. Bu Qi. Read up in please. Bu Qi. Bu Qi. Bu Qi. It means you're welcome. Don't mention it. You're welcome. Okay, now let's move on to the text. Here. Here is text. I'm going to read it for you. 谢谢你,不客气. So this one, a 谢谢 we've learned, it is thank, to thank. And if I put a 你, 你 means you, right? You, the singular you. 你,谢谢你 means thank you, thank you. And be said, 不客气, you are welcome. Now let's try to read with me. Okay, read the text. Three, two, one. 谢谢你,不客气. Now let's read again. Okay, three, two, one. 谢谢你,不客气. Good job, good job. Now let's move on to next text. Next one. Next one is about goodbyes. 
So the new word is 再见. 再见. 自爱在, 见, the initial is Z, the final is I, the tone is first tone, Zai. And next one, Jian, the initial G, the final Yan, the tone, first tone, Jian, Zai Jian, Zai Jian, read up me, Zai Jian, Zai Jian. Okay, it means to see you around, to see you around, see you again, which means goodbye, bye-bye. So this is the Chinese way of saying bye-bye, 再见. But we also will use bye-bye in daily life. If you are saying bye-bye to Chinese, they will also understand. Okay, now let's move on to our text, which is really easy, 再见. I will read it for read it, read it for read it for you for once, okay? So I'm going to start. 再见. 再见. So this is obviously two people saying goodbye to each other. Now try to read with me, okay? Read with me. Three, two, one. 再见. 再见. Very good, very good. So this is for today's text. Now let's move on to our new part, which is Chinese characters and strokes. Now we can see there are three new strokes for the today. The first one is 横折, 横折, which means horizontal turning, horizontal turning, 横折, this one. And the direction of writing it, writing 横折, horizontal turning is first from left to right and then from top to bottom. Left to right, top to bottom. 横折, horizontal turning, horizontal turning. Let's see the example characters. First one is 口, which means mouth in Chinese. So as we can see, this 口 is written in this way. See carefully. So first, a vertical shu, and then a hengzhe, horizontal turning, what we are learning now. And last is the horizontal tau. This is mouth. Next example is ri, which means sun, ri. Let's see. So first, I'm going to write a vertical, and then the horizontal turning here, and then a horizontal, and then a longer horizontal. This is the example character for horizontal turning. 横折, 横折. Next one is 竖折, 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 vertical turning. So first we should write the vertical and then turn it, turn it. So the direction of writing it is from top to bottom, from, to, from left to right. Top to bottom, left to right. Top to bottom, left to right. Okay, now let's see the example characters. First one is Shan Shan Shan, which means mountain. We've seen it before. So it is actually a vertical and then a vertical turning here, vertical turning here, and then a vertical. This is Shan, vertical turning here. Next one is Chu Chu Chu, means to get out, to come, to come, to get out. Now let's see. It is a whole a vertical turning and then a vertical. A vertical turning and then a vertical and then a vertical. This is a vertical turning. Shu Shu Next one is the vertical hook. Vertical hook. The direction of writing is from top to bottom and then hook. Top to bottom hook. Top to bottom hook. Really easy one. Now let's see the example characters. First one is Ding means the member of a family. De Ying Ding. And there is a horizontal of us here and then a vertical hook. Vertical hook, this part. And for another example is Xiao. Xiao Xiao means small and little. And we can see the vertical hook is in the middle and two dots here. This is Xiao and vertical hook. Vertical hook. Now, this, these are the three strokes we are going to learn today. We've already learned them. So, first one is 横折, 
Next one is shu zhe vertical turning. Last one is shu go vertical hook. Now let's move on to our new part, which is the single component characters. The first one is ko, we just seen, seen it, which means the mouth. In ancient time, when it is first toy made, it looks like this. And now in modern Chinese, it looks like this. Ko, ko, mouth, ko, mouth. Now let's see how to write it. Or, uh, although we've, we've seen how to write it before, now let's see it again. So first, it is a short vertical. And then a horizontal turning, hang zhe. And then a horizontal to close it, to close it. Now try to write it with me, okay? A vertical, a horizontal turning, and then a horizontal. A vertical, horizontal turning, and then a horizontal. This is ko, which means mouth, mouth. Next one is jian. Zai jian, jian. Jian means see, see, watch, okay? In ancient time, it looked like this. We can see in this part, this actually looked like someone's eye, right? Someone's eye. And this part is someone's, a person's body under it, a person's body. And let's see. In modern Chinese, now it looks like this. It looks like this. So let's see how to write it. It is. First, we can see here is the vertical, vertical. And then a vertical and then a horizontal turning, a horizontal turning. And then a left turning here. And then a, this is vertical turning here, vertical turning. Okay, let's try to write it with me. First, a vertical and then a horizontal turning we've learned today and left turning we've learned in lesson one and then this thing. Okay, try to write with me again. A vertical, a horizontal turning, and then a left turning, and then a this. Okay, this is jian, jian. Let's move on to next part, next part. Okay, next one is shan, shi an shan, which means mountain, mountain. In ancient time, it looked like this, just like mountain. And now in modern Chinese, we write it like this. So first, we are going to write a vertical for it. And then a vertical turning, shu zhe, shu zhe. And then write another vertical, shorter one. Okay, try to write it with me. First one, a vertical, and then a vertical turning, and then a vertical here, okay? Next, next is, uh, try to write it again. A vertical, vertical turning, and then a vertical. Okay, next one is xiao, xiao, which means small and little, small and little. In ancient time, it looks like this, looks like this, like grains of sand. Now, in modern Chinese, they look like this. Looks similar, right? Looks similar. So first, we're going to write a vertical hook, vertical hook, shu go here, and then a dot in the left, another dot in the right, on the right. Try to write it with me. First, a vertical hook, and then a dot, another dot. Again, vertical hook, dot, dot. This is xiao, little. Last word, last character is bu. No means no, bu, bu. Actually, in ancient time, it looked like a two. But nowadays, it, it is only an a negative adverb, means no not okay and we are going to write it like in this sequence first a first a horizontal and then a left turning we learned it last lesson next is a vertical and last is a dot big dot okay try to write it with me first horizontal huh? next left turning pie. next a vertical shu last one dot again again heng. Pie shu dian again horizontal left turning vertical dot. So this is bu no. 
So this is all for today's lesson. Thanks for listening. And if you still have some questions, try to practice more. And don't forget about the things we learned in lesson one, okay? Try to practice writing and try to remember the new words of today. And thanks for listening. See you next time. Bye-bye.